Alright guys, JKG here, back with another One Punch Man video. So in the previous video, we have covered King, and what he can do, his skills, details. Okay, so today I will be fight. I will be looking into Season 1's final boss himself, Boros. So I believe, I'm not sure when he will be out in Global, but... I believe he should be a pretty good character. Okay, let me take a look. He is an Esper, of course. Okay, let me take a look at the skills. Let's take a look at his skills. First skill. Um, he, oh, oh, train, go, train. So, um, it's like hammering hook punch. <laughs> Maybe hammering jab or something. Okay, single target damage, 120% of your attack as damage, and wow, so, so I think this is Berserk, okay, let me check, yeah, so it's the same as Moving Rider, second skill, so this is Berserk, so in the first attack, give Grants him Berserk for one turn. Mm, pretty okay. I think King's first skill is a lot better. But okay, let's take a look at the second skill. Like this is like a royal consecutive kicks. So single dark target damage three times. 210% of your attack as damage. Plus 9. Actually, I'm not sure what this means. Plus 9. Like, this has all the plus 10s. I think this means that, like, after the skill level up, it will add 10 to the attack or something. So, but this one is plus 9, which is a bit weird. Unless it's like plus 90%, so it becomes 300% or something. Not very sure, but okay, 210% damage. Okay, this is interesting. So, for every Esper on your team, up to 3, so you can have like 4. I'm not sure if it counts itself. Uh, if it counts itself, then it's a um, you need three espers in your team, which I think makes more sense so that you can have one of every class in your team. Because if you have four espers, then you'll be lacking one class, so your core will not be activated, which will be a bit stupid. So I'm guessing. It counts itself, so for every Esper in your team, hopefully including Boros, it increases the damage by 105% each, up to 3. So for each hit, it is a 315% damage, so times 3 is about 945, I think. Yeah. And if you add the skill up, if that's what it means here, that is about a thousand percent of your attack, which is pretty crazy. A thousand percent, that is like a thousand percent of 398. My math is pretty bad. <laughs> Four, 4,000? Or something 4000 okay let me take a look at uh, my mask uh, my mask I don't think I have him yet okay uh, my mask does two to five hits of 500 percent oh 500 that's quite a lot okay but his base stat of course is lower he's, since he's just an SR so this one only targets the back 
2 to 5, so it's a maximum of 2,500% times 183. Okay, let me take out my calculator. Calculator. 183 times 2500. No, no, no. Okay, it's 25. Okay. 4,500. So overall, actually, uh, my mask still does more damage if it's maximum hit, which is by chance. So it could be just two. So if let's say it hits four times, four times it'll be 2,000. So if I multiply by 20. Okay. Yeah, okay, so only if it hits five times, uh, my mask will do more damage than Boros. Other than that, Boros will do more damage on the second skill. Yeah, but the third skill we haven't seen yet, so let's take a look. Passive Feng Ying. Something yeah. So it's like the sealed armor. Okay, so I think this is the armor that got destroyed by Saitama. Oh. Okay. It's an interesting passive. It doesn't do much for the damage portion of him. So every time your ally heals, this passive allows them to heal an extra 50% and up to 6 times per match. So um, it maybe you can synergize well with King since he's also an Esper and he heals. And yeah. That's about all for the passive. Um, pretty weird combination there. So damage, damage, and then uh, heal buff. Yeah. So I think overall, King might be a better unit. Uh, I'm not very sure yet. Boros. Okay. Too bad I can't look at the animation or stuff. Or something. Okay, here are the links. Okay, I missed out on King's links the other time. So wait. Oh, okay. Okay, these are the items. Arrows. Armor. Okay. Yeah, so that's about all for Boros. Um, let me know in the comments below who you guys want to see next. By the way, um, I feel like I feel like rerolling right now. Um, I'm pretty unlucky with the rolls here. Um, and I realized that this guy is actually from. I think it's from this um, guaranteed SSR, so I'm not even being lucky on the rolls. Hmm. Should I reroll? Uh, since I just started anyway, um, I didn't go really all out on my Chinese account compared to the global one. And yeah, my global account has some issues, so. Currently, I'm unable to log in. Um, there are some issues with the because I actually purchased um, some discounted packs from a like I wouldn't say dodgy player. I I'm not sure if he even knows that like where the diamonds are from. So I actually purchased from them, and apparently they after the purchase they refunded all the money so as a result of that my account got banned 
my global account and because I did not save this ID I am unable to retrieve my account yeah so I can't <laughs> get back my old global account anymore I think yeah so let me know in the comments below who you would like to see next and if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future videos and that's all for today bye bye